The phoenix is a symbol of reincarnation, rebirth, and becoming anew from a destructive cycle. If a phoenix is one of your spirit guides, or is one of your spirit animals, your totem animal, you have the propensity to go through extreme lows and extreme highs in life. You have the ability to rebuild yourself, to rekindle your flames from seemingly disastrous circumstances. People who have the phoenix as one of their animal guides are often very old souls. They are not afraid of the flames, the fires, and the destruction, which is ultimately transformation in life. They are only concerned with embracing life's magic, life's warmth, the divine fire element. Those who carry the phoenix spirit animal totem within them or around them have a propensity to utilize fire as a healing force. In modern and recent history, fire has been associated with pain, destruction, even hell. But in reality, fire is a life-giving force like the sun. Fire is a love-giving force like your heart in Chinese medicine. So the phoenix symbolizes all of this. The fire element symbolizes transforming hate into love. Hate is a fire that burns and causes pain, whereas fire is of love causes refinement. When the phoenix spirit animal enters your life, this is a time to kindle yourself out of the ashes. The ashes of our life, symbolically, are fertile soil, just like in Hawaii or other volcanic soil climates. You can grow great, beautiful plants and new life out of this ashes, out of this lava and fire element. So utilizing the phoenix totem as one of your spirit animals allows you to take a situation in which you have been partially destroyed or transformed in some way. Maybe even you feel as if you're at rock bottom. And taking those sparks, those embers of love that you still have in your heart, always the Shen Qi in Chinese medicine and Qigong, and rekindling a great flame, rekindling a great burning flame. The phoenix has also been a symbol of Merlin and has been depicted through many cultural art forms, books, movies, as a companion of the wizard. This is because the mystical one, or the adept, or master of magic, knows that energy only transforms, it only shifts form. Soul never dies, soul is energy, spirit is energy, even the body is a container of energy. So the alchemist, or witch, or wizard, or shaman, whatever you'd like to call that mystical person, is aware of this. And this is the powerful energetic totem and symbol of the phoenix companion being able to understand, not just feel the phoenix rebirth, but understand that you are an old soul which has taken many lifetimes, reincarnated many times, in many forms, in many species, and sometimes even on many planets. Understanding this life, death, and rebirth cycle allows us to alchemize and shift what reality we want to experience do we want to burn with the fires of hate, or do we want to burn with the fires of love? The phoenix in its shadow aspect, or negative aspect, symbolizes the rebirth of the ego. The ego is the mental confusion which humanity has been going through in the Dark Ages. That confusion of the illusion of separation, feeling separate 
from others, feeling lonely, feeling small, when in reality we are connected to all that is. So this rebirth of ego is something very familiar to the spiritually minded person. This rebirth of the idea of separateness or the idea of selfishness. So in order to transform the shadow phoenix, we must honor and love ourselves in unity with all that is. The phoenix taking flight in our life symbolizes a great new rebirth like the sun card in tarot, psychic readings. It's interesting because the phoenix represents both the tower and the sun, a very ominous symbol and a very powerfully optimistic symbol. The tower represents the transformation and burning up of the old self, of the old life, and the sun represents a happy new beginning, a joyful new beginning. Joy is also of the element of fire. Remember that the phoenix is a symbol not for the weak of heart. Remember the strength of your heart, the strength of your love in working with the phoenix, and may it guide you with great grace.